as stunned as you are, Your Excellency. Ah, then that is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. How? How can I get to blow up the only working refinery we have? How? My leniency is being taken for granted. Whatever action you take against them now is justified. They went rather too far. Hmm. Arrange a meeting with the Minister for Defense. Hmm. Get the IG to get with it. Yes, Your Excellency. My liaison officer said that they came with the military trucks. Hmm. Somebody somewhere has a lot of explaining to do. Someone need to explain to me how the militants got hold of a military truck. Someone will explain. Yes, I did hear yeah, you, but you know the no, yes, we be like elephant, yes, so you know the year we did at the top. This is your breaking news. I am already celebrating. <laughs> Never hear it in that yeah, yeah. No sense got the final we know they produce oil to maximum capacity. Because the make it that fire would have been at the grace. Never know anything. You say my children go to suffer, we go to suffer. Listen to me, Al Haj Gambo is absolutely excited. And now, do you know what? His refinery in Santome and Principe is going to become very busy. Obarek, <laughs> I tell you, you go pay me some more money. That 20 million, they'll do. They'll say, like, almost 20 million, self, I use collect those military trucks then. Ah, I mean, even like Chris, I'm even at 50 million, I tell who my conscience is well. First thing tomorrow morning, I will mention this to Al Haji. But I can assure you right away, this is not going to be a problem at all. This, tell me the exact reason why you guys blew up the refinery. Don't worry, has it come to this? Yes. Yes. I have always been an advocate of peace. I have always been the one who have been telling Perry not to blow the whistle on you guys. I've always maintained that we are brothers. Why am I here like a common criminal? The reason why you guys blew up the refinery was to turn the authorities against us. Is that true or not? It was Pere that negotiated the deal. I wasn't part of it. What deal are you talking about? Talk now. Yes. Uh, let me tell you. I am calling to inform you that I am doing everything humanly possible to effect the religion for your brothers. But I want you to do me a favor. Oh, my boy. Let no harm come to him. He is my most prized possession, please. Listen, Mr. Commissioner of Police. We are not killers. You hear me? And I want you to get that clearly. We are not killers. But if you do not do what we want you to do, then we can just become killers overnight. It was Alhaji Usman Gambo that brought the deal. He said that he wanted, he wanted us to maintain Katakata. That his business flourishes better when there is confusion in the land. 
Plus, it seems the commissioner doesn't want to end this peaceful. Let me just go to his home. Can you finish his Oh no, there will be no need for that, Takeda. Okay? We're wasting time. It's necessary, right? Don't worry. He's the one that just called. You heard it. He said he's doing everything possible. I'm just okay. going, man. I'm brought up. Don't worry. As long as we have his son, we'll get him to run things the way we want. Ross, let me do some more kidding. Make noise, yes. Have you guys heard the news? What, Juliet? What news? All the police commissioners in the oil producing states have been changed. They just announced it. How 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 me I will get my brother now? No, so for how, how how will we get all the the new commissioners? No, taking a good I will go. I will program. We will program. No, no. Hold it, hold it. Program. We program. We program. We program. We program. We program. Shit. Listen, program. Shit. As soon as the new commissioner comes in, we'll know how to handle him. Um. Release the man's son. Release the commissioner's son. It's no more our problem now. Just release him. Eh, um, okay. Boy, that's the smallest issue, man. Yeah, I mean, police are friends to people who spend money, and we are the ones who spend more money, you know. Well, I'm not bothered about the police commissioner for now. Wait till he resumes work. I will go and meet him and find out his limitations and orientation, know how to deal with him. Yes. Well, what, what, what is it this time? Henry, I put it to you that you are a vet, you are filthy and disgusting. Look, my friend, you're not even qualified to call me on this phone. Look, Pere, is it because of the filthy money you got from Alaji Gambo? You are not worthy to be a true son of this land. And what do you mean by that? Shut up and listen to me. I'm giving you. 24 hours to issue a statement on the bond refinery. You must tell the whole world that you were responsible for the bond refinery. And tell them that the president is at, as deceitful as all his predecessors. You the Chris. Now Chris to worry you. Score, 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 score. Wait, don't play it. I mean, they give orders. Yes. Listen, listen to me. 24 hours for your information. I have your brother Peace here with me. You hear me? And I'm giving you 24 hours to do this, or you will never see him again. No, you be like saying you know even no, no, you. We no get time on this earth. They threaten me, we get all the time. You boy, you don't call me that now. All right, you heard what I said. 24 hours, or you will never see your brother again. I hate to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm serious. Okay. You go know before the cock crew are done. You go know who no no go know. Clear road for Jaga Jaga. You hear me so? I can kidnap this man. Come on, 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 on, what did concern you with my brother? Why would I go carry my brother? Bro, I agree that the information you gave was for the arrest of Don Praye. But it's just unfortunate that God there met your brother. No be real we can't talk with that. No be so. My brother did there, but no there amongst those people. Why? That place big now, no be can't wife. Stop. Me know the me younger. They kidnap him to get at me. Those people. Go tell that poor bellied old baboon. That new commissioner with the job bring comes home. 
tell us to make you release my brother. You see, your brother is going to be released. That I can assure you. But one thing is that Mr. President has been briefed on the developments in the oil producing area. And we have to be very cautious how we give instructions now. One thing that anybody cannot afford to do, that is the worst thing anybody can do now, is to ignite the anger of Mr. President. I can tell you something. If you didn't use Connie Connie, they go one side, no use them here. Look, it is a you make my brother wallow for jail just like that. Now that one you they try to tell me, bro. Let me say you yourself <clears throat> now bad man you be. I don't understand, Pere. Why would you say I am a bad man? You said I will have to bring you extra twenty million naira, and that's that's the money I brought. Why would you say I am bad? My friend, no tell me that nonsense. What did it to you? Because you they sit down here with me. I can tell you something. You bad. Your money. That nonsense money compared to the big bold love where I get for my brother and my people. You hear? You know that's important to reach my brother. That's your you know, yeah, 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 money that we will not carry every day. This is that for you. I can just tell you. I'm confessing give you now. Yes, uh, my man, my man. Call this guy for me. Make you go monitor those people for you now. I'm sorry, I had them. I am becoming weary of your business. Because I just can't place you. I can't say if you are a friend or you are an enemy. Your Excellency, I'm, I'm sorry I am not come for that. Um, today I am here as uh, Al Haji Usman Gambo, a stakeholder in this government. Then, now why can't you seem to see any of my achievements? Why can't you appreciate my efforts? I have changed police commissioners based on your security advice. Don Brayer de Silva has been arrested. And a plan is put in place to arrest all other gang members. Yet, you don't see to see what I've done. When would you begin to appreciate my achievements, Alhaji? When? Your Excellency, I have got no time to deal in frivolities. I am here to deal with cardinal issues. And we shall appreciate it very much if you listen to us. Cardinal issues? So, what are these cardinal issues, Alhaji? Your cabinet does not seem to understand your policies. And that's why you're not, there's been very little progress. I, I don't get your drift, Raja. You are surrounded by deadwoods. Incompetent men and women. Of main concern is the Ministry of Information, headed by Mrs. Rahim. She doesn't know how to inform well. This is why people say we're not doing anything. I know it is your government. But you must agree that it is my government too. The very, very slow pace of things that I'm looking at is getting people very, very worried. That is why I am saying that you should consider with immediate effect a cabinet reshuffle.
you know, like I said honestly, you see, if, if, if I had my way, I would have bribed those officials to kill Don Braille in detention. In detention. Why are you still talking that way? To the best of my knowledge, they have released your son. They have released him actually, but there is bet here. You see, let me tell you the truth. They shouldn't have kidnapped him in the first place. I mean, a poor innocent boy. I mean, he shouldn't be brought into the politics of this nation, especially where it concerns oil dichotomy. Listen, my, listen to me, Commissioner. I am not comfortable with the way we are digressing. Oh, listen, I... I invited you here for something different. Something very important. Cabinet reshuffle at the federal level is imminent. Mm. So I invited you here by the instruction of Alaj Gambo to inquire from you if you are still comfortable being a mere police officer or would you like Al Haji Gambo to fix you up somewhere else in government in the imagined dispensation? Who, who, who am I to decide anything? But left to me, I am still very comfortable as a police officer. But you know where I have my eyes fixed. May you tell me? The IG. <laughs> Inspector General. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> you see, there is something we have found out in this country. There is a fraudulent structure in place in this country. Men who are in the circle of oligarchy, they are benefiting from the status quo. And these men who are in the circle of oligarchy that are beneficiaries of the status quo, they remain the greatest enemies to change. They don't want to hear the word change. In fact, I can tell you that they are allergic to the word change. Yes. <laughs> and you know by service, maybe unofficially, we have become part of the oligarchy. Listen to me my brother, the presidency and the parliament, they are not serious. They are not committed. They don't want to bring in place the prosperous, progressive structure that can better the lives of the common men on the streets. Yeah. And they are playing politics with the lives of people. Mm. And <laughs> people like us, who are unofficial members of the oligarchy, we shall continue to manipulate yes. the fraudulent structure we have in place. This is the canal of this invitation. And I want you to bear this in mind. <laughs> oh my God. You know, you see, uh, which, like I said earlier, um, I have always supported Al Haji Gambo. Just tell him that I am his to command. <laughs> Shall we just toast to that? <laughs> Long life? Yeah. That's a toast to oligarchy. <laughs> hmm. I agree. You're Minister for Information. Although I know you are totally incompetent. Much, uh, have access to some information, but I would like to know exactly how did you get to know about um, the cabinet reshuffle? Olaji Gamble, I'm not here for frivolities. Look here, you talking to me? Now you listen to me, Mr. Gamble. Olaji, you have your interests, and I am not ready to disturb you, provided you do not step on my toes. Now, what I want from you is to go back to the president and tell him that I am competent enough to remain as the Minister of Information. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that you are living in fool's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> no, Allah Haji Gambo, I am not. 
Now you see, I have this dossier on you. On the fact that you have been sabotaging this government. And also, the fact that you're the head of the cabal that has been frustrating the effort of this government to ensure that the refineries work by importing fuel from your own private refineries which you have set up all over the world for instance in Sao Tome and South Africa now I'll tell you something you had better not fail to reinstate me as the minister for information or else I will expose you to the president mm. who's been filling you with all these lies well you know I am the minister for information and I am privileged to certain information now you see, Alahaji Gambo, we all have our interests. And mine is the Ministry of Information. And I would love you to just let me be. Or else, I will expose your illegal activities. I hope you realize that you are stepping on a lion still. Oh. I was actually gunning for the lion's heart. Yes, yes, Mr. President. <laughs> well, the entourage will arrive your country there today. Very well then. Yes, you have information for me. Yes, yes, I have seen. All the cabinet members that are penciled down see this as a routine cabinet reshuffle, mm. except for Mrs. Rahim. Mm. She seems not to understand why she would be removed. Hmm. Sorry, I'll speak with her. I am convinced that you have not done what you're supposed to do. Now, I'm calling you to let you know that you still have time to do what you must do or I will do what I must do. Hello? Okay, I'll be there soon. Thank you. This is Rahim. On behalf of my cabinet, I would like to extend my profound gratitude to you for your immense dedication to services while with the administration. We appreciate your condor and diligence to duty. And as you leave the cabinet, uh, I wish you success in your future endeavors. And please, be aware that my office is open to you. So you can come to see me anytime you see me uh, necessary. Your Excellency. Yes, let's gamble. Um, I hope you have not sacked in this room yet. Well, well, I was just briefing her. Why? Ah, and as I told you the other day, that this is your government. Yeah, yeah but, but excuse me, please sit down. Ah, thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. And um, uh, equally, it is my government too. It, uh, it has not occurred to me how important to uh, and influential Mrs. Rahim is until I spoke to some senators and governors of uh, the oil producing states. All the other members of the cabinet can go. But Mrs. Rahim should be allowed to retain her position and her ministry. Oh yes, Your Excellency, I think we have uh, underestimated the value of Mrs. Rahim. Although she may not have been able to provide a bit or forthcoming with the forceful information to enable us to dislodge this, this, this militants. But I honestly and sincerely believe 
but she is of great value to this administration. Thank you. 
You must be her daughter who's just come back from Canada. Oh, yes, you're very correct. My name is Aisha. Nice to meet you. Same here, sir. It's an honor. You look quite admirable. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I humbly beg to be excused. Thank you. Well, I have come to confirm to you that everything you asked for has been done. And I, in return, would like you to get rid of all the information you gathered on my oil activities. I don't want to have any problem with you. Alaji Gambo, you should learn to talk to me in a gentle, manly fashion. For your information, the information I got on your illegal oil deals are very, very damaging. You have no right to call the shots. You are talking to a large Usman Gambo. How dare you? How dare you use such reckless choice of words? Alhaji Gamble, you know you are very, I mean very, very close to the president. And that is because he thinks you have his interest at heart. How disappointed he would be if he learns to know that you're a green snake in a green grass. Don't let me blow the whistle on you. Guys, uh, let me get on the phone so you can talk to them. Hello? Bros. Hey! Let me see what you do. Yes. <laughs> we day, we day. God day. We do hold forth. So, so. We did have food. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bros, hey. okay. Bros, Bros, we did to God, we did. I tried it every day. Bros, hey. so Bros, hey, that chain, hey, that chain, hey, that chain. We did, Bros. We did, we did, young with that, we did, young with that now. Bros, hey. Bros, are they happy to God? Are they happy? Hello? Yes. Okay. Happy, oh, yeah. Okay, no problem. No, no, no. no. We, we go young. We go sort them out. Okay, okay. Eh, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Uh, so you're not relaxed, huh? Yes. It's much better uh, you know, for you to to pull that through. Somebody who is in tension for us to talk to that person. It makes sense. It makes sense. Are you? I told you, I'm the lion of you. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's that? Let's get to it. Every formation you need, okay, is con 
team that you want to work with. Now you call me once the deal is done. Okay. And then you are short of getting your money promptly. Okay. Okay. Any other? No. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Today was very hectic at work. Really? Yeah. By the way, how come you did not attend the wedding with Aisha? And see, I changed my mind at the dying time. Why? Seriously, Aisha was not happy about my decision. But I just wasn't moved in the spirit. Oh, you are the spirit movement. Come on, Felicia. A governor's daughter's wedding is not the kind of wedding any spinster should miss. I mean, it's an opportunity to meet eligible bachelors from different works of life. Auntie. You know, you never know where you would meet the father of your children. Auntie, mm -hmm. Aisha said all of that to me. But, you know, my problem is the girl in question doesn't know me hmm. and I don't know her. So, why stress myself to go for a wedding I was not invited? Okay, I like your, your principled way of life, okay? You just stick to it if it pleases you. Ah, uh, how would you <laughs> say that? Anyway, please, can you do me a favor? I'm really tired. Can you help me get the diary on the bed? I need to do one or two things before I go upstairs. Where? Right hand corner? No, oh, come on, Aisha, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we're still single. We're going to end it that way. You never know. Madam, I'm Sergeant Dominic, and I have intelligence report that there are some faceless people that intend to kidnap you tonight. What? It's okay, calm down. No need to fret. What you're trying to do is to kidnap as many people as possible just to ruin the governor's daughter's wedding. Oh my God, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. Just follow me. Get out of here. That's my primary concern. Yes, let me get things. It's okay. Don't take anything. I want to get an officer to take a look. Just follow me. Sorry. Talk to me. I'm listening. It is done. Good. So, things must go according to plan. But first, go and pay the boys for the first success. Then, in the morning, her mother will be informed of our demands that will be put on the table before her. Consider it done, sir. That woman wants to mess up with me, then she will regret it. So why are you trying to provoke me? I was the one that brought this business and we had an agreement before we started. So why change suddenly? There is nothing wrong with change, Lionel. I can change whenever I want to and you can't stop me. Now I'm going to call up the lady and ask her to release my brother. Otherwise, I will kill her only daughter. But that was not the agreement. The agreement is that we force this lady to resign or we kill the girl. Well, that's what you say. I don't give a damn about who dies or who resigns in government. It's none of my business. Lionel, don't you care about my brother? I, I do care about your brother, for God's sake. 
But his release can always be handled. Well, then get them to release him then. Use your connections to get him out. That's what I want. For as long as my brother is being held, I will never follow your plan. Now you mind how you talk to me, taking now? In the capital, I'm known by all as a very brutal hitman, okay? A very brutal hitman. That's none of my business. Because I am who I am. Call me when you want to do business. Yes. Have they made the call? Uh, I'm sorry, Alahaji, but there's a new development. What development? Well, the, the head of the kidnap operation is insisting that we must secure the release of his brother that is held for criminal disruption of free flow of oil before he can go ahead with the plans. Mm. I don't understand. Now, who is this nitwit who has given us conditions? I'm sorry, Alahaji, but this guy is not a riffraff. He is ready to do what we want. He only wants his brother released. Um, where is the girl kidnapped? They're keeping the girl. Have you seen the girl to make sure that they kidnapped the right girl? Yeah, I've, I've seen her, Alahaji. But can't you do anything to affect the release of their brother soon? I'll call you back. If we release the detained brothers, then they will be happy. And uh, if they are happy, then it means they will lay down their arms. And if they lay down their arms, that means peace. Now tell me, who wants peace? in the oil producing areas. Not me. <laughs> Not me. the information minister may I help you please I want you to work with us please I don't have all the time in the world who is this you've arrested my leader Don Brian Silva and I wonder if you think you have solved this problem are you a militant I'm in charge now I'm the new leader and I want you to listen to me and listen to me real carefully your daughter is in my custody. What? what? Don't interrupt me again. There are a few things I want you to do. One, I need you to use your office to facilitate the immediate withdrawal of the Joint Task Force from my land. Two, you must surrender all classified information that you're compiling for the government on our activities. And three. You must release all my brothers that have been arrested from the oil producing areas in connection with the struggle that you call a militant operations. You have six hours. Otherwise, you never see your daughter again. But please. Rahim, you hardly come to my office. 
and I'm curious. What are you doing here? I have this feeling that something is eating you up. And I want you to open up to me. We work for the same government. And talking to me is not out of place. Okay. I asked for the classified report on all the operations of all the military groups in this country. And my contact person told me that all the files have been submitted to the president. Is it true? Yeah, that's correct. My God. The files came in yesterday. But why are you bothered? You are not implicated? Uche, I need to see those files. What? Are you not asking them possible? The files are classified information for Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief. Uche, I know. But my only daughter, I mean my only child has been kidnapped and I need the information to set her free. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. Kidnapped? But, I'm sorry. Is it the kidnappers that are asking for the classified information? Yes. They know about the information. OJ, please. I need to make copies of those files. The kidnappers were very emphatic when they told me that they will kill my only daughter if I don't give them the information they want. OJ, I beg you in the name of God. Please, I need you to help me, OJ. Classified information? Uche, I am talking of my only child here. I know you can help me, please. I will do anything. Uche, absolutely anything you want me to do for you. I just ask you to please help me. Maybe shifts me can read this girl in mind. Make I shift. Dissolve. Come on.
I'm not gonna hurt you. On the contrary, I wanna help. I need you to speak to your mother. She's been blackmailed into something that will cost her life in prison. And I want us to work together. Yes? What exactly do you want? My brother has been held by the federal government for something he didn't do. And I need him out. That's where you come in. I need you to ensure his release. When you get up, I will set you free. Now, now let's go somewhere safe so you can make that phone call. Sir, I need your help. My whole world has been turned upside down. Mm. Madam, I want to make you understand that the house where masquerades are, human beings are there also. Sir, I, I came here in connection with my daughter's kidnap. I don't understand all this talk about masquerades. Mm -hmm. You are where you are because you refused to listen. Don't tell me you have a hand in all this. Now you listen to me. You will walk into the president's office and hand over your letter of resignation. Then you go back to whatever it is you were doing before you were appointed. You will tear up every bit of dossier that you say you have about me. When you've done that, your daughter will be released. A large gamble. So you're the brain behind all this? I am the brain behind the government. Now you do as you are told or you will regret the day you accepted to work for government. There's a play. Please call me back. So what happened? He asked me to give him time to question the girl. He said he wanted to get good information from her, so I left. At the time I got back, they were gone and I've been trying to call him. He's not taking his calls. Now call that idiot and tell him to come back with that girl here. Now listen, there's a high level meeting going on in the presidency right now. And uh, we need that girl in our custody if we must succeed in this game. Man, Lionel, you can see she's not here with us. I mean, you can see. But all the same, he's your colleague. Make him come back with that girl. How many times have I called him? I mean, he's not picking my calls, and I strongly believe he's up to something. Now you listen, Mofe. If because of your incompetence, we do not succeed in removing that, that, that witch out of that federal cabinet, Come out, come out, you're not going to feed you anything, who you be? You're not going to feed you anything. Who do you think you're talking? I don't blame you, I'm less than the this one. We will get mine, you talk to me, and you're coming. Come on, 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 If you're sure you're okay, just board a taxi and come home. There's so much happening around here, and I'm just trying hard not to lose my sanity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Aisha. It doesn't sound good at all. It doesn't. I mean, why? Why would she resign at this crucial moment? A time that would need her most. 
Your Excellency, why worry yourself about the resignation of a woman who is willing to divulge classified information to militants? Oh, Raj Gamble, please. Now, that is rather a very harsh accusation. Could that be why she hasn't arrived since I summoned her here? Mm. Uh, Mrs. Rahim, now what is this nonsense I hear about resignation? Your Excellency, I was actually being forced to resign. There's this massive conspiracy against me. Allah Hajjigampo sitting right here is the one masterminding it all. How dare you? How dare you stand in the exalted office of the Commander-in-Chief and utter such rubbish? Your Excellency, I place myself under your protection. Here, I have classical information on Allah Hajjigampo. Show that he's the one that has been sabotaging this government, especially in relation to oil. Uh, excuse me, please. He's been the one sabotaging our efforts, trying to revive the, 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 the refineries, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, your Honor, right. excuse me, excuse me there. Now, now, do you have information supporting what you're telling me? It's all in there, sir. And to crown it all, he arranged for, for young people to kidnap my daughter. Your, so that I can force me no, to leave my You have to protect me now. Oh, Allah Haji Campbell, I am disappointed in you. It's all there, sir. Yeah, hello? Hello? Yeah, who is this? Take it up. Yes. Where the hell are you, for God's sake? Where are you? Listen, slow down, okay? Relax. Everything there under control. I'm at the RCC query site. And I need you to get here immediately. Aisha tried to escape, but I have her. What? Yes. She tried to escape. Just hurry and get here before the police try to close in on me, okay? Wait, okay, okay, okay. You, you, you said the, the quarry is like... Yes. I'll, I'll be there, okay. I'll just be there. Are you here? Where? Okay, stop, 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 stop. I see, I see. Turn around, turn around. Turn, turn to your left. Left, left! Now come, come, come. Okay, yeah, okay, come. Thanks for sticking to the plan, man. Okay. Ah, don't mention my brother. Oh, thank you so much. Ah! Ah! I told you I am who I am. intention to sabotage your government. I don't intend to charge you for anything, Mrs. Ryan. I must admit, I quite admire your courage for the information you just gave. Thank you very much, sir. I joined this cabinet to serve my people, my country, and I have every intention to do exactly that, sir. 
sorry. I am sorry, Mrs. Ryan. I am now quite skeptical of what people around me. And I must admit, you call it, that it astounded me that you could divulge such sensitive information to the militants, for that matter. Now, that stinks of unpatriotism, Mrs. Ryan. I'm, I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but they had my only daughter, my only child, sir. I, I'm truly sorry. You know, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. It's all right. It's okay. You have your life back now. And I want you to go. Go. Talk to your mother. Let my brother out. Okay? I know my colleagues may kill me if they find out that I have let you go. But it's alright. I'm willing to die for my brother. Can you do that for me? Yes. Yes. And I'm sorry about your wedding that I ruined it for you. I'm sure there'll be a lot more weddings to come. It's nothing. It's right. Take this money. It should be enough to get you to the capital. Go. Go, go. One more thing. Promise me that you will ensure that my brother is released. I will do everything and anything I can to make sure he's released. Go! Go! I want to believe you heard everything she said. Yes, it is, sir. Why do you ask? Did she mention my name? Is there any way she mentioned your name, sir? Listen to me, I'm not called here to ask me nonsense. You were there in that meeting. What did she say? Sir, well, she implicated Alhaji Gambu seriously, and the president has briefed the attorney general about it. And by Monday, I'm sure he'll be tied to court. Did she get fired eventually? Sir, as for Mrs. Rahim, the president said anything about her, and I don't know of her fate. You may leave now. Thank you, sir. Takena, you are a complete sellout. I mean, how could you do a thing like this? Eh? How could you? I mean, our plan was to use her to negotiate the release of our people and our big brother, Brahe. What's happening to you? That's exactly what I did. I let her go. I opened her eyes to the reality of what is happening, to the struggle. Don't you get it? She now sees things as us, the way we see it. She appreciates what we do now. Now I should be flooded with praises and not castigation. And there is no way, no way we would have achieved that if I didn't let her go. Stop it! Stop! She was doing the young man! She was doing the dog! She was doing the dog! How will it be this? And I don't forget say we supposed to maintain one house. She's right. What will be this? What will be your problem? We should not be fighting one another. We should keep one house. There's only one thing I have to say to you. That lady works for us now. There's nothing difficult in what I am asking you to do, Mother. You don't understand how government operates, my dear girl. Mother, I don't need to understand how government operates before I show appreciation to somebody who risked his own life to save mine. All I want you to do is pick up your phone, call the president, and plead with him to release these innocent people. They are suffering for nothing. The last time I got involved with militants, I was indicted for it. You can't force me to be their advocate. You should know that the militants are the government's worst enemy. Trying to get in touch with them now will be totally misunderstood. You win, mother. You win. In that case, I want you to take me to see the president. I'd love to meet him myself. What did you say? Mother, you said you cannot be their advocate. 
You cannot plead on their behalf. You cannot speak for them. I want to meet the president so I'll do it all on my own. Oh, come on, brother. We cannot continue to live on politics. We cannot play God with people's lives. These people are innocent. They are suffering. They are dying. Somebody has to be magnanimous enough to inform the president. Raisha, you are always pushing. Mother, I am pushing for the truth. We cannot lay silent. We lay silent means we accept the defeat. Raisha, you, you, you just talk as if I'm not trying. I am trying. You are, Mother, but being together and trying together will make things better. Ah. Your Excellency, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Yeah. My yes, daughter, Aisha. Yes, thank you very much. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Aisha, I... Oh, yeah. I must admit, I was quite disturbed. Why? Well, I I must admit that I was quite disturbed when I learned of your kidnap by those uh, militants. See, they are the greatest problem we have in this nation. You will not believe how many other countries that advise their citizens against visit to this country. They stand ground stable. And that is based to a large extent on the activities of these militants. Well, I must say I was quite relieved when I learned of your release. Okay. Well, Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Yes, yes. Uh, Actually, sir, I'm here to make a case for these highly misunderstood militants. You want to make a case for militants? How do you mean? With all due respect, Your Excellency, I honestly do agree with you. I do agree that these militants may have done something or some things to dent the stability of the nation and also impact negatively on our prosperity indices. But Your Excellency, if you look closely, you will see the reasons behind their actions good and justifiable reasons. Your Excellency, they fight for their people. They fight for justice. Oh, no. There is no reason for terror. There is no reason for violence. And there's absolutely no reason why anyone would pick up arms and hold the whole nation and its resources hostage. No reason. I do agree with you, Your Excellency. Good. But that is not their intention. That isn't. They are angry, Your Excellency. Extremely angry. Obviously because of the neglect of successive governments on the oil producing areas. Why defect changes and developments from a place where you know that your resources are coming from? My dear, even at that, you will agree with me that I am making a difference. I am. I have given them a ministry and I am currently partnering with the National Assembly to fashion out a revenue sharing pattern that will make more sense of revenue control. What else do I need to do to make their environment better living? My problem with these people is they have failed to do anything to their governors who are very, very corrupt and grossly incompetent. They've done nothing. So what do they want me to do? Your Excellency, I will repeat what I told my mother this morning before you. You have achieved what your predecessors have not been able to achieve since independence. And you have done that in a few years. Uh, then, what else do they want? There's still one more thing you need to do, Your Excellency. And that is what I have carefully articulated in this document here. Your Excellency. They are your people, our people, your children. And maybe if you make them understand that we see them as friends instead of enemies. Trust me, Your Excellency, it will douse the tension in the region. It will. Thank you. Aisha has put up a very good case for them here. What would you have me do, sir? 
I am granting unconditional amnesty to all militants who are willing to down their arms within three months. The Attorney General should withdraw every case against all militants. And everyone in custody for militancy and uh, related issues should be released immediately. Now, this directive follows an executive fire act. And every related uh, government offices should be briefed immediately. Yes, sir. I don't show for real. I don't show. No shaking. Failure is when a man falls and enough he get up. That's all. We go fall and we go get up. Yes, sir. We go fight again. Yes, sir. Keep up. I come in for everybody. What I want to say is very important No be when I talk my mind then go say I be militant Water full everywhere but not a drop to drink Oh yeah, don't kill the fish, even the river the stink We know fit fish oh, yeah. we know fit for my some people come with some more Carry the money, they go. Plenty so far, they for Niger Delta. Yes, sir. And if them no one listen to us, then go listen to us by the force. Justice and equality. Now we want. We've all against this country. Yes, sir. And if them no get sincerity, no need for this amnesty. Plenty so far, they for Niger Delta. Yes, sir. And if the no one listen to us, then go listen to us by the force. Justice and equality. Now we want. We fall against this country. Yes, sir. And if the no get sincerity, no need for this amnesty. 